Hi, it's Damon here with Big AZ Speakers. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Today, uh, we're going over this Philips set model 7800 stereo receiver. If you're not familiar with the Philips High Fidelity line or uh, HFL line, it's actually made in the USA, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I, uh, I'm a personal fan of this line. I try to uh, buy them whenever I find them. Um, they, uh, Fly a little under the radar, a little less common. This model, 7800, even finding the specs for it uh, is, is pretty difficult online. Uh, but you know, this receiver here, I would imagine somewhere between probably 15 to 20 watts per channel. Uh, very similar to this small Marantz 2215. But uh, anyhow, today I just wanted to go over. I'm gonna be listing this for sale, so I wanted to go over the specs and actually kind of pushing some larger speakers these onkyo sc 1500s just to show kind of the capabilities of some of these old school uh low wattage receivers and uh, hopefully give you a good impression uh, for what it can do and, and really what they sound like i used to really be all about the power but over the last year i've really been chasing after and experimenting with these small wattage uh amps and receivers like the old uh, small AU Sansui integrated uh, the 555A it's absolutely one of my favorites um, but this Philips line like I said is right in there with it speaking of power this is another sorry about the background light there part of the Philips high fidelity line here you can see the oh, try to focus in here 5781 the one on the end means it's a black face. They have uh, silver as well. And you got the matching preamp, which, pardon the dust, so 5721. Um, not to go off course, but this all touch button, uh, really kind of high end for its day. And uh, when I was reading this uh, Phillips line, I was actually in the process of buying Morantz at this time. So uh, this. They've really put a push in their high end line, you know, kind of when vintage, or when audio was at its high, at its peak, and then I don't know if they marketed it very well, but um, so a lot of people don't know these exist. These speakers in the background, the speakers are actually made in Belgium, but Phil's pretty well known for some of their speakers. But these are the smaller speakers in their lineup here, but they're really great sounding two way. Uh, speakers so got the phono plugged in uh if you hear a little bit of a background hum it's not the stereo i just using an av splitter uh for a phono which is kind of just uh experimenting so it puts a little bit of hum but it's not the unit or anything it's just so i can cross back over to this marantz to show you for demonstration purposes then so i don't have to move my turntable but real quick we'll go through the tuner section Again, this is on the Onkyo's here. Really fantastic. Got the treble and bass zeroed out there. Do have the loudness on. So, again, this is a metal face, not plastic or anything like that. The cabinet's uh, the wood. Uh, you know, it's vinyl, so it's just got the wood grain look, but... So the tuner works real good. The only light that comes with the display is just on this uh, signal meter here. So maybe one thing that it, that it could use uh, wasn't made with it, but just there's no dial indicator lights or anything like that. So a little dark on the display, but still a beautiful piece. So I don't want to get blocked on YouTube here, so I have to move on as much as I want to listen to that. All right, so switch over to Phono. So go bass all the way down to zero. Back to bounce out there. Just full bass. Back to zero. Treble all the way down. Back to half. Full treble. And I will tell you, 
not only does this receiver have pretty much the same warmth as that Morant's, it is very detailed and super clear, especially on these Onkyos. But. Switch over to the rant for you. Oh, I still got this one. As you can see, it's a very good working piece. Uh, there's balance, full right, forgot to show that. Back to both, full left. Back to both. Power switch is in the, you got two uh, speaker uh, terminals. And you got aux, phono, you got your tape loop. Obviously your AM, FM. A really good phono section, very clear. And uh, I can't say enough about this line. And I, I can't remember the model number off hand, but I just sold my other one that I think 55 watts per channel. And without having it here to compare, this one really runs right there with it. Uh, very impressed with this unit, love it. Very clean. There's a minor a little bit of light protruding through the dial screen. It's only noticeable kind of at either an angle or looking above, but straight on, not really. So anyways, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and, and if you like us, uh, please follow, give us a thumbs up. So anyways, uh, thank you. Or visit us at uh, BigAZSpeakers.com. And we do ship, so stay tuned.